All right, today's Monday Grub Bag is going to be a little different than normal. Oh. We're on the road, so we have to film when we can. That means spontaneity. Question number one. I didn't even know that this is what we were doing. Shane was just like, oh, I have something to say to the camera. Question number one. Why did we not turn off the air conditioner before we began filming? Shane, we are going to... This is Monday Grub Bag question one. Compile some questions that you can do. You can do that in the car. Because that is not a real question. You have to answer the one that I asked. I asked. I said, let's turn the air conditioning off. Shane said, spontaneity. Get your phone. That was his response. So I said, okay, I'll just leave the really loud air conditioner on. All right. That was Monday Grab Back. Question number one. More coming soon. First, I, I promise they'll be better. First, we have to pack up. It's 115 degrees. Yeah. Here in Las Vegas. Vegas. Question number two. My arm is tired. Why? Why? That's question number two. Why? It's a good angle. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. What is this? All right. Monday drug bag. Question oh number <laughs> three. What is the best part about having us as travel partners. Wow, that's a leading question. <laughs> <laughs> the best right. part, okay, the best part, um, I get along with you guys. Aww. Aww. That was friendly. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Can you say Monday grub bag, please? Oh, God. <laughs> Monday grub bag. It's hard <laughs> to say. <laughs> no, Shane thinks it really rolls off the tongue. No, it does not. <laughs> Monday grub bag, Monday grub bag. I can't have Monday grub bag. <laughs> I, I can't do that. <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. All loaded up. This is the caravan that we leave hotels with. Yep. All right. Question number whatever we're at for. Why does this hotel smell like Brussels sprouts? It smells exactly like Brussels sprouts. Like distinct <laughs> and and strong. Yeah. Ugh. Good waiting club. Oh, see, Nina's there. She's like. She was so upset. I know, I heard you cry. <laughs> it's very windy in Las Vegas. I got out to get gas. I like that look. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it filming? Mm-hmm. Am I in it? I might be a little high. It's perfectly framed. This is higher than I thought it would be. You are framed by the framing master. How does my hair look? It looks we had like, a windy day. Looks like you've, you've been sweating a bit. I, I, it was 110 degrees. I was hot. I was sweating. I was being blown around. What are we filming right now? Monday grub bag. Monday what? Monday grub bag. Which is what? Which is when... We're, we've already answered like three questions. It's when we answer your questions. But today Shane has gone rogue and he is selecting his own questions because we didn't have access to our computer on the road to actually get your questions. Where are you? Uh, we arrived in Los Angeles. So we are in the Airbnb that my mom will be staying in. What was the journey to get here like? Awful. Awful? Yeah, it was like a, what, five hour drive? Did it take a little less, four and a half? You had no joy from traveling the world with your well, I liked the whole drive except for today that you were talking about today. Lawfully ready. Today's drive was terrible. Husband. You knew my back hurt, my butt hurt from the seat. We couldn't put it on cruise control because it was alternating between like 60 miles an hour and 75 miles an hour and everyone was just going up and down. Wow. It was really annoying. What's been the best part of the travels from Minnesota to LA? Um, I liked that we split the days pretty well. Like we didn't have to drive more than six and a half hours any of the days. Are you so tooting? Relaxed in the evenings. Well, you, you're really cutting me off. Are you tooting your You're own, a horrible interviewer. Are you tooting your own horn? You know, one of the most important parts of interviewing is to just be quiet. I'm the camera. Because man. people will take pauses. And if you let them pause, they'll continue talking. Where did you learn that? In my sociology classes when I was interviewing people. You were a sociology major? Can you hear the, the shower tinkling in the background? It's not the shower, I'm peeing. You're just peeing the whole time. I've been peeing the entire time. Do you, 
Something about your smile makes me involuntarily urinate. Do you have any actual questions that people have asked us that you can think of that you've seen perusing the comments? Yes. And I can also film you. Well, up to me. Boy. All right, here's one. What do you do to pass the time on road trips? Hmm. From Kelly L. <laughs> I, I think you just made that username up, Shane. How did you tell? I don't think you remembered the name of the username of these questions that you read yesterday. Um, we start off, we have a very specific ritual. We start off with music. Naked. We're naked. We start off with music as soon as we leave in the morning and we listen to music for an hour or two, depending on how into it we are. It's literally until we're sick of it. Until we're sick of it, until we're like, I can't listen to this anymore. Uh, specifically, we've been listening to Ruth B. That's what we listened to this morning. Chelsea Cutler. Chelsea Cutler. Mallrat. Mallrat. Anthony Green. Anthony Green. Those are like the four we listen to on this trip a lot. Yeah. We don't, we've been picking songs that we know. Not oh, just, like, we, shuffling playlists. We had a pretty Hannah long Montana. Hannah Montana hour. I did the whole third album. Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, that was last night when I was, I just needed it. Do you think your enjoyment of Hannah Montana is narcissistic because of the name no i don't think it is it's true love anyway then we switched to podcasts today we only listened to office ladies we listened to like three episodes of office ladies and i will say they talked about ice cream cake in this episode and the history of ice cream cake and they mentioned baked alaska the dessert yes which is like frozen cream or something frozen or ice cream something and then it's meringue and it's hot it's hot yeah it's served warm how Baked. i don't know shane and i have never had that and now i'm like actually upset that i've never had a baked alaska and i would i would like to have one on this trip because if if i can't find one in los angeles then i don't know what i'm doing we're speaking at a conference i'm gonna find a baked alaska and if anyone wants to, like, oh, this is your phone, but I'm just going to look up a photo of it. Oh, my God. I forgot to hit record. You're kidding. Baked, I'm, you would never forget. Baked Alaska. <gasps> wow. Oh, Shane, to think that I've never had this. Is oh, it, my God. Is it similar to Bateman at Toddy? No. Wow. The pasta. It does look good. Oh, my God. It looks amazing. I'm going to look up Baked Alaska. Los Angeles. All right, I think we're about ready for my portion. Let's see. Oh, top 10 baked Alaska in Los Angeles. <gasps> oh, we can certainly find them. Talk about the city that never sleeps. I'm so excited. And if you, viewer, have had a baked Alaska. Look at the viewer when you're speaking to them. Let me know anything about it, really. I'm really excited to have my first Baked Alaska. There's a restaurant here called Better Than Sex, a dessert restaurant. And I wonder... That's the title of the video right here, Better Than Sex. It says Baked Alaska is on the menu. Better I, Than Sex Baked Alaska. I'm not kidding that we're making up the title. Okay. And I will, I will delete every comment telling Better me than sex. that it's I think clickbait. That's, that's, no, I don't think it's clickbait. Baked Alaska. Dessert is better than sex. We say that in the video. It's the name of a restaurant that I will be visiting while I'm here. Exactly. And I hope everyone has been enjoying... My little clips. Now time you like to, to the reverse star? the roles. Careful, don't delete it. Okay. Wow, you look stunning. I think your figure is in the frame. It's not in the frame, lovey. I'm looking at the frame. Yeah, you wrong figure. <laughs> look, it's... I can't even get it. There it is. It's, yeah, it wasn't even close. Your hair looks really fluffy from this angle. I fluffed it. I have a blowout. Uh-huh. It's getting long. It's on that side. Did we tell you guys I've been doing blowouts? <laughs> I, you might have mentioned it. <laughs> it's not as yet. No, he's been using a blow dryer and blowing it back in a very specific way. It sounds way less cool when you just say he's just been using he's a blow dryer. He's calling them blowouts. I've been getting a blowout every day <laughs> from my wife. I told you that's a very specific technique, a blowout. It that's not what you're getting. better than sex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be funnier than that. So, so you think we should just call it? There, yeah. Okay. And what's tomorrow, Shane? Exciting day. Oh, we're going to Disney. Yeah, Disneyland. Disneyland. Like, to the actual park. Because yeah. we're going to be at the Disneyland Hotel. Not to be confused with Disney Mini Pet. 
Thank you, Shane. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be fun. We're seeing our friends. Yes. Paul and Charisma. Yep. And we're going to ride rides. We are going to ride rides. We are going to see Hopefully, meet a princess. Uh huh. Maybe. For me. I okay. <laughs> having some dreams. Remember when Snow White um, recognized you? Yeah. Are you excited? It might not be the same Snow White. Well, it was the one in Florida. Oh. When that happened. So. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was no, in California. It? Oh. It was in California. It was at the last SMA conference. So, if she's still working three years later, you they might get to see mostly her. Mostly hire high school students. <laughs> I hope she's not still there. <laughs> I don't think they hire high school students. No? No. To play no. the princesses? I thought. It's a very specific, no. It's a very sought after specific job. Trust me, because I looked into it when I was younger and I didn't fit any of the parameters. Because <laughs> if in the Florida <laughs> one, they only hire high schoolers. I would have loved to be a princess, but you have to be between very specific heights. I was always too tall. I could have played like a villain like Maleficent. I'm in the height range for that. It is similar. Features. Well, Evil eyes. Attitude. Yeah, I would have loved that. Maybe I'll play Maleficent someday. We kind of do, like, in your everyday life. Okay, Shane. Okay. Bye, that everyone. Monday grab bag. That was our weird Monday grab bag. We're going to do our best to keep putting videos up Yep. while we're on the road. But we are doing a lot of, like, speaking engagements. Yeah. So bear with us. We'll see. We'll put them up as, as we can. Yep. Love you all. Bye.